Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. I was planning on waiting a few days before making another video about Sunderland's managerial hunt, but there's a name that's been climbing up the odds and I had a comment from Yorkshire Mac and 1433 saying Pascal Janssen could be a good shout for Sunderland. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refer to the trusty Wikipedia and have a look and read up on this Pascal Janssen. So Pascal Janssen, born the 27th of January 1973, immediately, that's a good omen, is a Dutch professional football manager. He was head coach of AZ from 2020 to 2024. He played football as a youth, but his career was cut short due to an knee injury. Yep, that's never nice. Early life, Janssen was born in London. Oh, right, he was born in London. Okay. Uh, England to Hans Janssen and Sue Chalona. Chalona? His father is a Dutch musician and his mother, an English pop singer who was a member of the musical duo Spooky and Sue. Wow, wasn't expecting that. He moved to the Netherlands at a young age and was raised in Zaandam. He holds dual Dutch and British citizenship. Quite the early life. Playing career. Janssen played youth football for AZ, Ajax, Harlem and Telstar but retired due to a knee injury before making his professional debut. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so Janssen spent his early career coaching in the Netherlands, at a few different teams, and in the United Emirates with Al Jazeera, I thought that was a TV channel, and Al Wada. Janssen worked as a coach at PSV between 2013 and 2018, and was the manager of their youth team between 2015 and 17. He moved to AZ to work as a coach in July 2018, before being promoted to manager in 2020 on the contract, till the end of the season. He was dismissed on the 17th of January 2024, after narrowly avoiding a KNVB Cup upset against amateur club Quick Boys. So, managerial statistics. Manager of Yong, PSV... 74 games, 133, drew 18, lost 23, and then AZ, 162 games, 194, drew 26, lost 42. Pretty good. There's no context to um, the win percentages, but I do find it interesting anyway. 58 is pretty good. So if I look at AZ... So if we go to their current season, so they finished fourth this year. They got to the quarterfinals of that KNVB Cup, went out of the Conference League in the group stage. So he only managed half the season, repeated by Martin Martins. That's a banging name. So last year he had a full year. They finished fourth, round of 16. Not, yeah, I thought they got to the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. That's pretty good. That's a solid season, that. And they sacked him in January this year just because they nearly lost to a lower league team. He's been hard done by there. The season before, he had a full year. They finished fifth, semi-finals of the Cup and only got as far as the playoff round in the Europa. Oh, that's Europa League. Oh, they got round of 16 in the Conference League. So that's not a bad season either. And then his first season where he took over from the 4th of the 7th, they finished third. Third qualifying round of the Champions League, yeah. He's not done bad there. He's had a solid, solid couple of years at AZ Alkmaar. What's his interview manner like? So let's just watch this video. Just Aston Villa. Well, first of all, playing against like Aston Villa is a big challenge for anybody. Uh, they're doing very well in the, in the Premier League at the moment and uh, they deserve it. Um, but as I told your Dutch colleagues just now, uh, the mistakes that we have made, especially during the first half, are something that we have to learn, that we have to learn from. But it's not even... Okay, I'm going to stop that there, but he speaks well, just from that short clip. I'll watch the rest of this afterwards. I don't want this video to go on for too long. Seems like a likeable bloke. He done well in his last job. This could be the the best name we've been linked with so far, you know. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Pascal Janssen. He's got more experience than Will Still. 
He's got more experience than Marek. He's not Frank Lampard. This guy looks all right, doesn't he? Comment and let me know. See you next time.